All right, I'm gonna try to explain this how I understand it. I checked the gear, probably so you know. All right, I have a few things inside. So this right here is the actuating arm, and that hose that you see is the the hose for the hydraulic fluid. When that hydraulic fluid moves through here, high pressure to pull the gear up, then this piston starts pulling backwards. Now that that piston is pulling backwards, these downlock hooks have to be removed. This right here is connected in an assembly right here to the piston. So when you look on top, this device right here is going to lift this entire thing away from this part right here on the gear which will dis uh, deactivate the, the downlock hook which would come off of this down limit switch and then you'd have a red light and the green light will disappear saying that you do not have the same extended condition anymore then the gear now would pivot through this part going upwards while the gear is coming inward toward the wheel well as the gear is coming up towards the wheel well this This will help in extending the gear to the, to the emergency gear extension process. By having that tension right here, it forces it down into uh, a locked position so that these down hooks can lock again. What can tell me if my gear is up? Is since we have a down limit switch, we're going to have an up limit switch. And as the gear is being pivoted upward, this part is going inside of that part of the wheel well. If you look up there, Up limit right here so as that thing goes up it's gonna click that up limit to say that hey your gear is up which will deactivate the the, the gear pump all right trapping the, the the fluid in the system the hydraulic fluid in the system which keeps the gear up and that's it